All right, we have all of our grapes picked, cleaned, and washed, and they are ready for the next step. I put in enough water to cover the grapes, and then I smashed them with my uh, potato masher just to get more juice out, and then we're going to bring this to a boil. Okay, so after it boils and it cools down a little bit, I'm going to strain it overnight at room temperature. That way the jelly doesn't develop crystals and we get the maximum amount of juice for the next step. It's the next day and we're going to bring this grape juice to a boil, then add this powdered pectin to it. And then we're just going to make sure everything is mixed up nice and dissolved. And then we'll bring it back up to a boil and then we're going to let it cool and then we'll put it in its containers. All right, guys. Finally done making grape jelly out of all the grapes on the homestead. At least the ones I picked. I still have a little bit more that I'm going to make into fruit leather. But i um, super excited about this. It smells like Welch's um, grape jelly or juice in here. It smells absolutely intoxicating with a little hint of cotton candy to go with it. But um, the kids are going to be super stoked to have this spread on some homemade bread and lots of other good stuff probably even want it on pancakes and waffles I wouldn't be surprised but that's really cool it's it's cool to make stuff from you know food and fruit and things like that that I grew here with my own two hands I would suggest that you guys try it out too um, it's already solidified so I wanted to show you what it looks like after the fact and that is our jelly and if it don't jiggle it ain't jelly baby <laughs> it smells so good it's all right let's see what the consistency is and I'm loving it perfect we're gonna spread it on a butter toasted bagel and it if I could do this with one hand <laughs> it spreads beautifully I love it oh and it smells so good it tastes even better <laughs> beautiful